Assalamu alaikum my dear student of class 3 welcome to all of you in our virtual classroom as by Samsulokhan school and college english version well i am your science teacher mohammed intiaj ahmed today in this class i am going to talk about the chapter 10 and name of this chapter is introduction to technology well in my previous class i have talked about the first three pages of this chapter and in this class i'm going to take uh, talk about the rest of the two pages of this chapter so i hope you all are ready to learn what the rest of the two pages are but before starting this lecture i would like to request you please open your textbook and take a marker pane because i have marked some important lines and you need to make them underline in your textbook because those lines are very important for your fill in the blanks and other short questions so let's go and open your text textbook page number 66 <coughs> summary technology is used in various ways in our lives such as transport study or agriculture we know that in our personal life we are using technology in a variety part of our life and from here we will learn about the transport we will learn about the study and agricultural sector that means in transport sector how we are using the technology we will learn here in our study what kind of technology we are using we will learn here and in our agricultural sector what kind of technology we are using we will learn here first of all the topic says about the transport People invented transport technologies in order to move from place to place and carry goods further and faster. That means uh, the person, those who works and those who want to do more, uh, more better, uh, want to do something good and better and they want to do uh, faster, they have uh, invented the transport technology because by using this kind of technology we can move from one place to another place very fast we can carry our defined kind of goods and we can increase our businesses so this is why the transport technology has been invented and the next line says transport technologies can be classified into three modes number one is land water and air in ancient time people used to travel on foot later on people began to use animals such as horses or cows after the invention of wheel transport technology changed drastically at first the horse cart and the cow carriage was invented after the invention of the engine trains and cars were invented the invention of the wheel and the engine made it easier for people to travel and carry goods farther and faster well in this para you have seen that transport technology are divided into three parts one is land another is water and another is air that means we we use three different modes for our transportation first of all in ancient time that people use uh, normally they use food that means they, uh, they walk and go from one place to another place but after some time whenever they have uh, used the animals they try to use them and they use them for their transportation like they use the horses and they use the cows for their transportation and after the invention of the wheel actually this creates the drastic change that means huge change in transport technology because after inventing this kind of device which is known as the wheel is creates a huge change and we made the horse cart or cow cart and after that after a long time we have invented the engines that means such a kind of machine which can carry a huge kind of thing from one place to another place by the use of this kind of engine we have invented the train we have invented the cars and by the help of these we can travel from one place to another place very fast and also far farther and um, 
we also it makes our life easier then as for water transport people used to use rafts or boats to travel and carry goods across the rivers lakes or oceans then people traveled on water with sailboats by using wind power after the invention of the engine cargo ships speed boats and ferries were developed these carry people and goods throughout the world well now they have talked about the water transport and we can see that during the ancient time people used the rafts that means by the use of either wood or some kind of uh, uh, the part of the banana trees they created uh, such kind of device where they can use this device and transport through the waterways and after some days they have invented the sailboat that means sail is a kind of cloths used in the boat and uh, by the help of the wind these cloths can move the boat from one place to another place very faster this is known as the sailboat like the land transport uh, technology whenever the engine has invented there is also a huge kind of change came into the um, waterways because that time they invented the cargo ships the speed boats and the ferries if you can see the picture of the cargo ships you can see that there's a lots of goods inside that ship and also they can carry the human beings that means by this kind of machine we can uh, move from one place to another place by the uh, by the waterways and it can help us uh, very good it can helps us by passing our goods or uh, we can move from one place to another place now in the next page page number 67 aeroplanes and helicopters also travel in the air we can travel long distance in a short time through the air now people can travel to the moon through the space shuttle well uh, now we will talk about the uh, transportation through the air whenever first of all the wright brothers had invented uh, such a kind of uh, device which is known as the aeroplane by the help of this aeroplane first of all uh, for the first time they could fly in the sky and they have seen that if they use this kind of machine they can move from one place to another place very fast and very easy way then uh, the human invented the helicopter this is a, another convenient way to move from one place to another place and after some day the human has invented the space shuttle by the help of this space shuttle they can move from from earth to moon very well nowadays you know that the humans are, are trying to reach into the mars so these all were the uh, transport technologies now we will learn about the educational technologies educational technology can be traced back to the paintings on cave walls people invented paper and begin to write down messages or knowledge on paper after that people invented the printing press now we use educational technologies such as the computer the projector the internet the videos and cameras for teaching and learning well you can see here that in our educational sector we are also using variety kind of technologies such as in the very earlier time whenever people uh, are not uh, technically sound they try to <coughs> express themselves they try to share their knowledge by painting on the cave walls and after some days whenever the paper was invented they try to share their knowledge by writing on the paper and after a long long days whenever we have invented the printing press it creates the huge change and now we can uh, share our knowledge all over the world by the help of book and as you know that except that uh, we also using a variety kind of um, educational technologies in our classroom suppose the computer the most important part in our life also we are using the multimedia projectors so that your uh, light uh, you can learn very better then we use the variety kind of videos so that you can learn in much in an interesting way then we use the cameras and for uh, we use this kind of device for your teaching and learning 
and then we can see here that the agricultural sector the first agriculture uh, agricultural revolution began many years ago at the time people invented various agricultural tools such as shovel spade shikle plow etc people used animals such as cows or horses to plow the fields now we use a tractor to plow fields and irrigation pumps for watering land we also raise livestock such as cows sheep goats and chickens and farm fish for getting food well here you can see that also we are using the variety kind of technology in the agricultural sector uh, we know that in the ancient time when we don't have any kind of machine we also try to produce some kind of crops by the help of some device which is known as the shovel the spade the sickle the plows and after some days the people trying to use the animals and uh, such as the cows or the horse with the help of the plow uh, you can see that in the picture that and after some days the same machine is invented uh, in a different manner the machine also do the same thing that the animals do with the plow but the efficiency of this kind of machine which is known as a tractor actually it can uh, plow the whole uh, whole area within a very short time and also one man can operate the whole things and then we can we have used uh, the irrigation pumps because you know uh, to water in the land we use uh, hands and pots by the use of the hands and pots we try to put some kind of water into our land so that the crops be, uh, grows very well but uh, the number of water we need we could not provide them because technology was not available that time but nowadays with the help of irrigation pump we can provide a huge number of land uh, we can provide the water by uh, use this kind of pump and we can uh, uh, we can help a huge number of land by providing this kind of water with the help of the irrigation pump so that we can get a huge number of crops because crops needs the water and we can provide them by the help of this irrigation pump well dear students i hope you have learned everything that we we have seen that we are using the technologies in a different kind of areas in our life first of all we have seen that uh, we use uh, those technologies in our transport sector and we have seen there are three types of transport, uh, transport sector one is the land another is the water another is the air we have seen a variety kind of machines in the land we have seen the very change of the uh, machines in the water when we have seen the development of the machines in here as well and after that we have seen that we are using variety of uh, machines in our uh, technical uh, tools in our educational uh, sector and also we have seen that our ag uh, agriculture sector is developing day by day because uh, we are using we are uh, we are using various kind of technical uh, uh, tools as well as we are developing our uh, system so that we can produce more crops and we can get more healthier crops uh, so the people get the benefits from there so this is how we have seen that our life is fully uh, engaged with uh, technology so we cannot think of our life without technology for a moment well dear student i hope you have understood the whole class and the whole chapters uh, you must uh, read the chapter again and again and we will talk about the question answer in our later later on classes so before that you need to underline all the important lines that i, we, I have provided in my lecture because that will uh, help you to find out the fill in the blanks the matching the mcq questions those are the small questions you will see the answer from there so these are very important for you try to underline and memorize them so that you can be prepared in a better manner so that's all for today i hope you have enjoyed the class stay home try to stay safe if you have any queries you can contact with me as below thank you very much